It's another media disaster. The media has lost so much credibility in this country. You have been wrong on so many things. And this one will be, I wouldn't say it will top the list, because I think you can't do worse than some of the stories you missed over the last week or two. But the media of, of our country is laughed at all over the world now. You're a joke. Republicans have moved further right than Democrats moved left. Wow. I mean, it shouldn't surprise me at all at this point, since it's well known that CNN is simply an extension of the Democrat Party. If they're talking about Republicans, it's always negative. If they're talking about Democrats, it's to promote or defend them. What we have here today is just more of the same when it comes to CNN's obvious corruption and bias. However, I just can't pass up the opportunity to expose these people for the hacks and snake oil salesmen they are. Today on CNN's New Day show, host John Avalon lectured about the increasing incivility and division that we're experiencing in our country and of course found his political opposition guilty of causing it what better way to heal the country than to baselessly blame half of it for causing all of our troubles by the way the segment in question is unironically called reality check republicans have moved further right than democrats moved left Okay, he packed a lot of bullshit into his diatribe, so let's take it apart piece by piece. First, he claims that while both parties have moved further in their respective directions, it's the Republicans who have moved further right than the Democrats have moved left. I read the article that Avalon is referencing, and at no point does it single out Republicans as causing our national divide. And looking at the graphs that they present, the Republicans would have moved only slightly further right than the Democrats have moved left. Another problem here is that no Notice the graph he shows only goes to 2012 and doesn't show any graphs leading up to the present. That's obviously because it would show Democrats falling off the left side of the chart. So I think what we have here is typical misdirection and deceptive reporting from John Avalon, who has a long history of being a Democrat shill on a network determined to keep this country divided. And that Tea Party Congress was determined to be the most polarized ever, going all the way back to Reconstruction. Ah yes, the Tea Party the heavily demonized and maligned party of grassroots Americans who were simply tired of the growing size and intrusiveness of government. They were known for peaceful, family-oriented rallies that called for capitalism, smaller government, and lower taxes. Who would find this controversial? The only people who would find this controversial are the far left and their Democrat Party media. Anybody who remembers that era remembers the media endlessly demonizing the Tea Party with all the attacks that have become commonplace today. Even going as far as to present edited video and then lying about what was shown in that video to apparently increase racial tensions against the Tea Party. A man at a pro health care reform rally just outside wore a semi automatic assault rifle on his shoulder and a pistol on his hip. The reason we're talking about this, a lot of talk here, Dylan, because people feel like, yes, there are Second Amendment rights for sure, but also there are questions about whether this has racial overtones. I mean, here you have a man of color in the presidency and white people showing up with guns. It, it sounds simplistic when you put it that way, but it is real that there is tremendous anger in this country about government and the way government seems to be taking over the country, anger about a black person being president. But again, notice how he doesn't mention the Bush administration. The media hated Bush and they treated Bush like they treat Trump now. Just check out the stark contrast here between Bush and Obama and these reports from CNN at the time. Catholic schoolgirls marched on Jackson Square. They and their teachers say more money is needed to fix the levees, and they hope the president would stop by after his meeting with business leaders. But while a lookalike showed up with a wad of cash, Mr. Bush did not. What is this supposed to mean? What, what do you mean by that? Well, I mean, he's a fascist. The pirates... Wait, why do you say he's pirates? a fascist? He's the president yeah. of the United States. He's a fascist. Do you, do, you realize how, uh, do you realize how offensive that is? I, if you want reasons why people distrust the media, and particularly CNN, look no further than their double standards and biased reporting. They're clearly against Republicans and for Democrats.
things have only gotten more polarized under President Trump. Yeah, and who are you blaming for this? It all started long before Trump. The reason that Trump is president now is because of the increasing polarization that's being driven by CNN, MSNBC, ABC, CBS, and even Fox News. They all thrive off of it while pretending to be separate from it. We see increasingly bitter personal divides accompanied by a decline in trust in government, the media, and each other. Yes, this is a trend that's been going on since at least the early 90s and probably even before that. This entire segment makes sense when you realize that John Avalon's job here is simply to deflect and distract. CNN is one of the most untrustworthy news sources out there and they need to deflect from that and blame somebody else. Why not their political opposition? It works for CNN and it works for the Democrat Party. Healing these divides is going to take time. And we're going to need to remember some practical wisdom from President Eisenhower, who said, the middle of the road is all the usable surface. The extremes, right and left, are in the gutters. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, how about this quote from Rowdy Roddy Piper? My line's in the middle of the road. It's the worst place to drive. But seriously, what does John Avalon know about the middle of the road? He has a long record of pushing left-wing policies and demonizing anybody who opposes those policies. Which, by the way, if you're interested in seeing this record, you can find on newsbusters.org, which I'll link in the description. Honestly, though, what does John Avalon care about healing this country? He works on a network that's dedicated to increasing that divide to the point of eradicating all opposition and dissent. They're already out there pushing for censorship of their political opposition. What else will they rationalize going forward? Uh, and guys, um, YouTube has taken a lot of heat also for these uh, homophobic videos, specifically ones aimed at this Vox journalist that are still on, even after they put out these new guidelines. I asked him directly, why is that still there, those videos? Are you going to take them down? And that is exactly why I need your support. We need to continue convincing Americans to turn off their TVs and ignore the politically partisan media. If you would like to help this channel grow and improve, consider subscribing to me on Subscribestar or Patreon, or just send a donation on PayPal. You could also just hit that like button and subscribe. Either way, I really appreciate all your support.